So, where are we? All where right. are we today? What, so what, 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 what time actually, is it? What time is it? It's 2:41 a.m. Uh, right. It's a Saturday morning. Uh, yeah. We are here. Me and my buddies are here at right. NW Hacks. It's a 36-hour hackathon. Yeah. Yes. yes. And uh, we are currently um, trying to work with uh, a board here that's called Spark Core. It's basically an Arduino board that's Wi-Fi enabled on the go. Um, so as you can see here, we've just connected the board to power the board on. These are just some fancy wires that don't connect. Hey, hey, I need those for later. Well, no, for now. Yeah, yeah. So for right. now, as you can see, the board is just powered by the USB going to the computer. Yeah. And there's a wire looping here to the LED here. Yeah. The green LED. So as I mentioned that this Spark Core board is Wi-Fi enabled. Wi-Fi. So this board basically connects to the cloud, that is the Spark cloud, and there's an app on the Android and iOS phones which you can use. Ding. Oh. <laughs> which you can use is pretty much like this layout. Mm -hmm. uh, so it gives you all the pins and you can mm -hmm. select the pin that you want. Okay. And you can say if you want the digital read or write pin, right? Okay. So the D7 pin on the board here is currently attached to the LED that's soldered on the board. It's right near the USB connector. Uh, so we're gonna make it as a digital write and we're gonna turn it high. As you can see here, there's a blue light that went on, on the board. And if we make it go low, it went back low. So this is all wirelessly, as you can see. The phone is not connected to the board, it's all through the internet connected network. Now, for the LED that we attached here with the resistor, we did the same thing to make it a digital right. Right now it's on low. If you make it on high, you can see the LED light up. Get and this is going, controlling it over the internet, right? Controlling over the internet, yes. Yay. This awesome. is fantastic. So it pretty much runs mostly all Arduino uh, coded uh, versions of the examples that, that are there. And it's got an enormous amount of library. It's open source and I recommend everyone to get the Spark Core. The Spark newest Core. board is the Spark Photon. Keep on watching. Awesome. <laughs> All right, and we'll we'll do the next video on the things that we're doing with it. Top secret. Top secret. You have to wait three hours. <laughs>